Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Forrest Sauer teaching you about how to live and ma maintain a healthy lifestyle because there's enough sick people out there and I don't want you to be one of them. Today we're going to be discussing what it looks like to not just start making changes but also maintain them for the rest of your life. One of the biggest challenges that I see in my practice members is the lack of consistency, not with just me, but with everybody, uh, with, with with everybody out there, it seems like you start something and then you fall off the bandwagon. And maybe like this wagon right here, maybe you not only have fallen off of it in the past, but you push that wagon in the woods and set the whole thing on fire and come go in a completely different direction. And if that is you, then you're in the right place. So what I want to do is go through some some easy mind hacks on stuff that on tricks that I've used myself to not just simply make but also maintain lifestyle changes and I have now since using these quit being a quitter. So what is step number one and quit being a quitter? I mean you can do things like you can have in the past you can make you know declarations. You can go ahead and sign contracts with yourself. You can get an accountability partner. You can have your friends meet you at the gym. You can um, you know, move to a different city. You got, got all these things that try to get you and to stay on this bandwagon. But what happens is they end up failing. Here's the reason why. It's because we haven't addressed the only thing out here. You see, all of these are external. All these are external factors. You can read my chicken stretch. You're a better man than I some days. So these are all external factors. What I want to talk about today is internal. So how do you quit being a quitter? And this is exactly what I have done for the past 10 years. It works very well. This is what we need to do. We need to start mastering what we're thinking about. So simply master your mind. Easier said than done. But let me tell you, this is a habit. So mastermind habits. Perfect example here is I used to actually really enjoy Gushers. You know those uh, really candied, filled, gel coating snacks that you give to five-year-olds? I used to have those, and in college I would have one every day, and on bad days I'd have two. And they were just absolutely delicious. It was fantastic. I was addicted. Like many of you are addicted to chocolate. This is something that I was addicted to or addicted to Diet Cola. This is something I was addicted to. And I knew it wasn't good for me. I knew it having that daily dose of sugar and high fructose corn syrup and food dyes and everything. It was not good. And I tried and tried and tried to break it, but I'd always simply go back. And it wasn't until I recognized that, oh, I'm thinking about this thing all the time. I'm thinking about at the end of the day, I get my reward. I get to be able to start, you know, I get to crack open and get that smell that, oh, that's just, I can smell it right now. It's so good. And what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm thinking about it constantly. I'm thinking about it all day long. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to control these external factors with me eating those gushers without simply looking at what's going on inside of my brain. So what did I do? I simply would, as soon as I caught myself thinking about my addiction, I would transition. I would force my brain to think about something else. Something that, ought, and, and here's a bonus for you, is mind mastery, is replace that reward. Re place. So for me specifically, what did I use to replace it? I actually started using dark chocolate. I knew it was healthy, antioxidant. And what I did is I started off by having 75% uh, dark chocolate. And I knew that I wanted to simply have darker chocolate than that. So I started off at 75%. And then as time went by, I went to 80, and then I went to 85, and then I went to 95, and now it's 100% dark chocolate. And for me, and that's my reward, that's my treat, that's, that's something that I really look forward to. And uh, I don't have it every day now because I just continued improving, but I didn't simply try to make the leap of going from being addicted to Gushers to now not having anything. You see, one of the major challenges that I see, maybe you're experiencing this as well, is when you make these changes, you try to make them all at once. Don't eat the elephant all at once. Don't burn your wagon. Simply make one change at a time. And then as these days go by and as time goes by, you're going to start compounding these improvements. So first one, let's so just simply pick one. 
write down what you're going to improve over this next week. Just simply pick one thing and maybe work on it for the next seven days, for the next 30 days. Like this process, it took me about four months to really start from gushers. It took me from going to gushers to here. This took me four months. That's how long it took me. And what I learned in there, the most valuable thing really was this mind mastery uh, habits hack was simply as soon as I started thinking about things that, that I knew wasn't good for me, like let's go ahead and say the gushers, I would force my brain to start thinking about something else and that is a habit and you're going to suck at it first, but you keep doing it, you keep trying, you keep at it over and over and over and over again and it's going to change, it's going to improve. Here's another a quick story, a dramatic example. I was talking with a, with a client, uh, a potential client earlier on this week, and, uh, and she was actually addicted to cocaine. And what she realized is she needed to start making changes. Otherwise, her health was obviously going to go downhill and she's going to destroy her life. And what I, I had this exact same conversation with her. Now, I know this is an extreme example. Most of us are not addicted to cocaine, but it still illustrates the point is that if we don't start thinking about what we're, what we're if we don't start changing what we're thinking about, we're always going to go back to our old habits because what this particular client would do is she would start thinking about getting high and getting a hit of blow and partying on Fridays and she'd start thinking about it and she'd start on that on Monday and then she would will, you know, she would force herself not to get high Monday through Thursday, but as soon as Friday came, she had already been thinking about it the whole week. And so, boom, she would she would fall for it very, very quickly and very, very easily. And what she didn't realize is that Monday through Thursday, what she is doing, she's just simply training her body and her brain to fall off the wagon on Friday. And if you're trying to get gluten-free or trying to drop sugar or trying to fix your lifestyle or just try to make simply one change in habit and all you're doing is thinking about going out to the bar and getting drunk on Monday through Thursday and you can't wait till Friday, you're messing up on these days. You see, it's not here that Friday is not the problem. It's on Monday through Thursday. And as soon as you start really fixing what's going on in between your two ears and forcing your brain to think about what it should be thinking about instead of what you, your, your, uh, you know, weaker self wants to think about, this is when you really start uh, getting the mind mastery habits to start working for you. So I hope this helps. Again, my name is Dr. Forrest Sauer. Uh, you, there, there's enough sick people in the world. And I don't want you to be one of them. So simply apply this to your life and we'll chat with you soon. Bye.